Hey guys, welcome back. So far, we worked on CRUD with Turbo and Stimulus in this series and we completed that. And from this lecture, we will start working on RSpec to write test coverage for our features. So RSpec is majorly used for writing test coverage for RHEL apps and you can also use this to test your programs as well. Here, we will use two different gems, the factory bot rails and the RSpec gem. Okay, let me explain why we need both of these gems. So factory bot will be used to instantiate, create, update and test data for active record models and RSpec will be used to write coverage for the behaviors. So first open the gem file and we need to add RSpec and factory bot gems under the group test and development. Okay, and so switch to the project directory. Okay, and now open the gem file and in the gem file, let's come to the bottom and add the gem RSpec rails and factory bot rails into the development and test group. So just add gem RSpec rails okay, and then gem factory bot rails. Okay. You can find both of the gems on the GitHub repositories as well. Okay, so just to save the gem file and switch to the terminal and run the bundle install. So run bundle install. So both the gems are now added to our rail set. Now we need to create a directory for specs file. So what we need to do rails generate rspec install rails g rspec and then install. Okay. Rails rspec colon install. Okay, this command will create a spec directory into the root of your project with two files rails helper.rb and spec helper.rb. You can see it in your project. So switch to the, your project directory and you can see the spec directory has been created and with two files rails helper.rb okay and the spec helper.rb. And now into the rails helper.rb from spec directory, we need to uncomment a line to get our factories work. So switch to the rails helper.rb and here you can find the command at line number 23 that is dir rails root join okay spec support and then okay. So now we need to create a support directory as well because we are using factory bot rails gem to prepare the dummy data for our test coverage. So we need to create factory bot.rb file in that support directory. So first create a support directory into the spec directory. So here new folder and then support. Okay. And into this support, what we need to create factory bot.rb. So create a new file and save it as factory bot.rb. Okay. And now in this file, we need to implement something that is rspec.config configure do config and into that just end this block first at the line break and then config dot include factory bot syntax methods factory bot syntax methods okay like uh, factory bot provide multiple methods like traits uh, for setting the attribute values for your active record instance and so on so if you forget to do this like uh, creating a support directory and into that uh, just create this factory bot.rb your factories will not work so just make sure to do this step okay now as the last thing for this lecture we need to run all our migrations under the test environment so switch to the terminal again and here you need to run all your migration into the test environment so rails env equal to test and then rails db migrate okay and run this command and this is the most basic and required setup we need to start with now before moving forward i would like to tell that first we will learn and work on model specs and then we will switch into the other specs like uh, specs for features controllers and so on so stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture with user model specs. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.